My name is Jaylene Clark Owens, and this is not my voice. This is not my normal register. This is a choice. This cadence keeps unconsciously into my vocal box cavity, and um, all of a sudden my voice begins to lift, <laughs> wraps up my vocal cords, and presents them to you like a gift, making my voice higher and sweeter, thus more pleasing to your ear palate, instead of rough, harsh sounds that play on your eardrums with a mallet. Yeah, this is not how I would normally sound. Wow, I didn't even realize I was actually trying to hold the real me down, to suppress me so that you can trust me. I wonder if my voice is so high you can't hear the irony. I do it automatically. I just pop this voice in without thinking. The same way you would pop on a life vest if you were sinking, it saves me from being too Harlem, too deep, too black. But girl, you was all of that. This voice is too fly to be left sitting in the cut like a cul-de-sac, waiting for a friend, a family member, your cousin. Why can't the voice you use with an employer be the same one you use with your husband? Because as a woman, we are conditioned from birth to be meek, taught that the man should have the most strength, so we even make our voices weak. Because as a black person, we are taught from birth to be non-threatening, so we quiet the bass of the African drum that strums our vocal cords until the silence is deafening. Because as a female who is black, we are labeled angry black woman, and even when we're not, we get the name even still, so we can not eat our Louis Armstrongs until we sound tranquil, like a tranquilizer a gun, temporarily sedating your true self so you may be easily handled, true self on mute, but this voice matters too, hands up, don't shoot, this voice has roots in New York City, it's gritty, knows that life is not always pretty, but it is ever beautiful in its boldness, never drowning in self-pity, this voice is indicative of where you are from, but that should have no relevance, because your home of Harlem should not be indicative of your level of intelligence. Habitually, we are told that our blackness cannot enter white spaces without a code, without code switching. Without it, their minds would be glitching, trying to compute our vernacular, but this voice is spectacular. It is the purest form of your articulated thoughts, like rainwater after impurities have been vaporized. That other voice is not the real thing, just poorly plagiarized you, universalized you. Stop treating your voice like the cat that disappears when company's around, boo. But I know you feel most vocally comfortable when you around your best friends. Finger waves become commas, and claps encapsulate words like bookends. But you can't just roll your neck and refuse to articulate in a professional setting. Why not? But I bet it's okay to up speak so that everything sounds like a question, I'm betting. Why? Because it makes you sound ghetto, uneducated. I don't think that's a big mystery. Ghetto? That is a leftover ancestral sound from the clicking languages found in the Southern African tribes. That is my history. Well, you can't always show all your cards. Sometimes you need your poker face. But this face is black 24 seven. I can't turn it on and off based on time and place. This voice is yours, so own it. Stand up for its validity in powerful places. Be its proponent. Well, maybe I won't go full Harlem bird, but I'll let my voice fly. Breaking this ingrained habit will be difficult, but I'll give it a try, so hi. <clears throat> hi, my name is Jalen Clark Owens, and this is my voice. <clears throat> voice, love it or hate it, that is your choice.